Excellent, so welcome along to our session on Into University of Stirling. Today, we're gonna to be telling you about our Into Centre, progression to our partner at University of Stirling, progression to our Scottish partners, as well as some information about the location and the job prospects here in Scotland. So this is our proposition in short. We can provide students with one of the lowest cost study plans in the UK. We can provide students with access to three of the UK's best cities and most vibrant cities. We can offer students amazing local job prospects, as well as fantastic degrees that really enhance their employability to take advantage of growing employment trends. And all of that added together equals one incredible opportunity, which will hopefully mean that students will benefit from their time here in Scotland and see a return on their investment like nowhere else in the UK. So into University of Stirling offers two very different options. The first is progression to our partner at University of Stirling, which we offer under one single visa. So that means a student can study a foundation, a diploma or a graduate diploma and then progress to their chosen major all under one single visa. And that offers a range of conveniences, including the opportunity to stay in the UK over the summer, work and earn some money. We also have our choice proposition, and this is into Stirling, Scotland's education centre. And this provides students with the chance to progress not only to Stirling, but to a range of top universities here in Scotland. So it gives them the flexibility to change city, to change major, and to change their study plan entirely uh, based on what they learn when they are with us. The thing with this one is that it is a two visa programme. So depending on when their foundation finishes, they may have to fly home, get a new UK visa and come back. So they have added flexibility, but they do have an extra uh, cost as well. Um, we have a range of different study plans here at Stirling. So at Stirling, we have our international year one programme, which is uh, progressing to year two of a four year degree. We have our international year two programme, which progresses to year three of that four year degree, as well as our postgraduate options. And at foundation level, we have progression to the likes of Stirling, Edinburgh Napier, Aberdeen, Queen Margaret University, GCU, Abate, University of Dundee, University of West Scotland, Heriot Watt, University of Edinburgh and University of Strathclyde. So this means that students can access some really good and really highly ranked study plans, as well as some very, very niche subject areas as well. And we'll talk about these as we go through. So which one is for which student? Uh, the green route, which you see is the into University of Stirling route under one visa. That is for students who know that they want specifically to study at the University of Stirling and they're very certain on their study plan and they want to take advantage of that single visa and that single CAS. The pink route, the into Stirling Scotland Education Centre route, is for students who know that they want to study in the UK, but maybe are not 100% set on which major they want to study, and they are happy for the two visa process as well. So let's have a look at the cost side of things as well, and we'll focus primarily on undergraduate, but we can answer questions on postgraduate as we go through as well. So at Into University of Stirling and our um, pink roots, the Scotland Education Centre, we can actually offer students the lowest cost study plans across the Into network. When you add in the cost of the foundation, the degree fees, the tuition fees every year and four years of living cost, you can see here on the table that Scotland leads the way when it comes to affordability. Uh, compared to our into partners so if you have a student who is looking for a low-cost study plan or if you are a student and money is a big concern then scotland is the place for you to come in order to get that affordable study plan and when you add in the job prospects which we'll talk about a little bit later on in this presentation you actually have one of the best returns on your investment in the entirety of the uk and it's also a similar story with some of our foundation providers here in the UK as well. When you add in the cost of the INTO programme and the Queen Margaret University degree, uh, which is in Edinburgh, and you compare that across some of our competitors um, across the foundation network, again, INTO plus the Queen Margaret University is one of the lowest cost study plans here 
in the UK. So one of the big messages to take away from this presentation today is that we offer four year undergraduate study plans from just over £77,000 uh, across the four years, and that excludes scholarships. So if you're lucky enough that you can get a scholarship at one of these universities, that price can come down as well. University of Stirling, the Green Route, does have a scholarship which is worth up to £10,500 across four years, which brings your study plan cost for University of Stirling under the single CAS programme down to just over £90,000 across four years. So it really, really is one of the most competitive study plans anywhere in the UK. So we want to focus on the location as well, because students are possibly going to be living in their place of study for four years, and they want to know that they have a really good place to be, they're going to be entertained, they're going to be safe, and they're going to be happy. Across the UK INTO network, there is no better place to be. Uh, INTO University of Stirling has a 98% living satisfaction in the last INTO student survey, which is the highest in the UK INTO network. So we are home to the happiest students at INTO. Our location is one of our biggest assets here in Stirling. We are very accessible to places like Glasgow, Edinburgh, Dundee. And from there, you also have great links to the likes of London and all of the other UK cities, major UK cities as well. Stirling is 27 minutes on the train from Glasgow and Stirling is 37 minutes on the train from Edinburgh. So we always like to describe us as being three cities for the price of one. Scotland is a very pro-immigration country. Uh, we welcome migrants and we see the value of the international community here in Scotland. And it's very telling because every time the UK Home Office attempts to deport uh, refugees, uh, you have big protests like the one you see in the picture here. So the people of Scotland are always standing up for the rights of migrants here in our country. So our international students and our international community are very, very welcome. Scotland is uh, YouGov's top 10 country in the world. So it's one of the kind of greatest places to be in the world, according to the polling company YouGov. And we have a higher percentage of our student body uh, being international versus the rest of the UK as well. So Scotland is a great home for international students um, from all corners of the globe. So let's have a look at three of the cities in depth. We have Stirling, which is going to be your main place that you live when you are at into University of Stirling, and it's quite a small city. It's a population of around 95,000 people. We always describe this as a great place to be if English is not your first language and perhaps if it is the first time you've lived in the UK. The pace of life in Stirling is very slow in comparison to big cities, and that means that you have a lot of time to get to grips with the English language. And that means that if you're in a shop, there is less pressure for you to hurry up and complete your transaction compared to some big cities. So it's a great landing spot for those students who are perhaps a little bit nervous or perhaps who are using English for the first time. It is, according to rightmove.com, the sixth happiest place to live in the UK. And we are one of the most welcoming places in the UK, according to booking.com's Traveller Review Awards in 2021. So a guaranteed warm welcome when you come to Stirling. It's also a very popular city with young people. It was actually voted 11th out of 189 UK cities by people aged 21 to 44. So a lot of people that would have graduated university and continue to live in Stirling or have moved to Stirling from other parts of the country. It's the fourth most affordable city in the UK, according to one of our major building societies here in the UK. And it's also a safe city as well. The complete uni university guide puts Stirling as the safest student city just back in 2020. Everything in Stirling is within walking distance, so you do not need a car, and there is a very good bus network as well. And in the UK, um, you normally have to pay for the bus, but in Scotland, the bus is free for anybody aged under 22. So free bus travel if you don't want to walk and you are fortunate enough to be under the age of 22. Uh, Stirling is a city full of really great cafes. Pretty much every street has a fantastic cafe, which makes for a great study space. Uh, and they're very, very popular with our students. And we also have all of the local conveniences that you would need of any major city in the UK, including a shopping mall where you can acquire 
most of the goods that you would possibly want in order to live and study. Stirling is also rich in culture. Uh, we have a lot of museums and galleries which are free to visit and we have a range of monuments and castles as well which students can visit and learn about Scotland's history and you can see here one of our students climbing up to the top of the Wallace Monument which is visible from pretty much everywhere in the city. We also have a great nightlife here in Stirling. We have lots of pubs and bars that again, very popular with students, uh, including cocktail bar and an Australian theme bar, which is incredibly popular with students for its Thursday night karaoke. And we also have a range of nightclubs in the city centre for students to enjoy. Uh, for those students who perhaps don't want to go to nightclubs, we also have concert venues and classes like uh, public classes and public lectures uh, as well, which take place at the toll booth. So there is something for everyone here in Stirling. We're also home to uh, Loch Lomond and the Trossachs, which has voted the fifth best national park in the UK. So if you want to step away from the busy city, you can actually step into the countryside, a short drive away, and you can enjoy some of this breathtaking scenery. So what I'll do is I'll hand over to Michael now and Michael can tell you about some more of Scotland's amazing cities and the kind of lifestyle that students can experience there. Thanks for that, Craig. Um, yeah, what we'd like to do is just to give you a, a flavour of what is on our doorstep here in Stirling. So Craig in the previous slide mentioned the fact that both Glasgow and Edinburgh are a very short train journey away from us. So we'll start with Edinburgh to give you a, a little bit of a, a taste of of what Edinburgh has to offer for students as part of their, their student lifestyle with us. Edinburgh is Scotland's capital city, just a, a short 37 minutes uh, train drive, train ride from, from Stirling. Um, and although it's the, the capital city, it's by no means the largest city in Scotland. We'll come on and talk a little bit about Glasgow. So, so what does Edinburgh have to offer your students? Well, again, uh, as we mentioned, some of the accolades for Stirling, Edinburgh is a QS top 10 city in the world, according to QS, um, and more recently has actually been voted by um, Time Out magazine, the number one city in the world. Um, there you go, best city in the world, according to Time Out, um, just in a poll recently, recently surveyed. And again, short journey away to the seventh best city in Europe and the 17th best city in the world, according to TripAdvisor. And again, other accolades, YouGov reckon that, that the, uh, Edinburgh is the number one ranked UK city for 2000 or for 2022 rather. And what this means is that the students have this fantastic city right on their doorstep where they're studying with us in Stirling. But beyond that, um, should they stay, choose to stay with us in Scotland uh, and work uh, in central Scotland, they have the likes of Edinburgh, which is voted the best UK city to live. So for their future career prospects, for the future lifestyle, again, best urban UK city to visit as well, according to National Geographic magazine. And Edinburgh is host to um, a multitude of tourists throughout the year. Um, so lots of attractions for students to enjoy while they're with us. Um, UK's second most popular tourist city, UK's second best city for travellers as well. And this uh, image that you see here is Edinburgh Castle. And again, just some of the other accolades that we see in front of us, top five holiday destination in the world. So lots going on for students to see and enjoy while they're studying with us in Stirling and to take advantage of that um, right on their doorstep. And Atlas Obscura put Edinburgh's uh, the top 10 most unique cities to visit in the world. And also one of the UK's most welcoming cities, fifth most welcoming city, uh, so students will also be assured of a, a very warm welcome um, when they travel through from Stirling or, as I say, moving further on if they choose to live in the city as well. Again, just some more accolades to run through. Second in the world for quality of life, best city for young adults to live, top 20 most livable cities in the world. Again, looking ahead to, to when students are hopefully finishing their degrees and looking for somewhere to kind of base themselves in Scotland to continue on to the post-study work visa and beyond. And in talking of work, Edinburgh is reckoned to be the happiest place to work in the UK. Second happiest after into Stirling. There you go. Um, what makes Edinburgh such a great place to be? What, what brings it all of these different accolades? Um, one of the things that Edinburgh is most renowned for is playing host 
to the world's biggest performing arts festival. So the month of August sees Edinburgh transformed into one large stage for performers from all around the world. I think something like 30,000 uh, different performances go on, lots of comedy, lots of music, lots of entertainment. Um, so visitors will come from all around the world to, to enjoy this. Our students literally have this just a 37 minute train ride away from, from them um, here. And it also, as an aside, offers lots of employment opportunities for those students during that month of August as well. Um, if performing arts aren't your thing uh, and you're into literature and books, Edinburgh plays host to the world's biggest literary festival uh, anywhere in the world. So um, if you like a, a slightly more calmer environment, the literary festival will offer that for you as well. And again, moving from calm of the literature festival to the world's biggest party. Uh, Hogmanay is a Scottish word for, for New Year's Eve. And every Hogmanay, every New Year's Eve, um, Edinburgh plays host to one of the biggest street parties in the world. Um, reckoned by Discovery Channel to be one of the top 25 world travel experiences as well. So if students are wanting to see in the new year, no better place to do it than in Scotland's capital. And again, for that kind of uh, retail experience, um, again, lots of different attractions for students. Uh, Edinburgh's home to the New St. James Quarter, which is a fantastic shopping and restaurant complex. Um, other attractions that you can see in the following slides include um, the, a, a range of, of cultural and artistic things to enjoy as well. So Edinburgh, students who are in Edinburgh will never be short of somewhere to eat. The, the city has the most restaurants per capita in the UK um, and is voted by which magazine the top UK food destination. And it's not only number of restaurants, but it's also quality of restaurants as well. I think Edinburgh's home to the most Michelin starred restaurants outside of London. Um, and for those who um, are, are vegan, um, again, it's reckoned to be the most vegan friendly city in the UK, according to Student Beans 2022. And also just um, a short a short walk away from the city centre is Leith, um, which is, is on the, 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 the coast. Um, and Leith is reckoned to be the fourth coolest neighbourhood in the world. So again, lots to kind of see and do there for students who maybe want to get out of the, the hubbub of the city centre and move to Leith, where there's lots of cool restaurants and bars. Arts-wise, again, Edinburgh is really well served. As a capital city, you would expect it to have a range of different art galleries. Um, and some of these are kind of listed here. The Museum of Modern Art is reckoned to be the top five UK gallery, according to Time Out. Jupiter Artland um, is a, a kind of quite a, a funky uh, type of gallery, which is again, top five UK gallery, according to Time Out magazine and L. And also uh, many of the national galleries, the National Museum, for example, is uh, located in, in Edinburgh. Again, which magazine put it as the top five UK museum? as well as Edinburgh Castle, um, which is uh, steeped in history. Uh, Scotland has a wonderful history and Stirling, Edinburgh, um, played a major role in Scotland's history. And Edinburgh Castle is time, uh, the, the time best heritage attraction winner in the best travel awards. As well as, and again, this is very topical given recent events, um, the, the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Um, for many years, she and the royal family toured the world in the Royal Yacht Britannia. And this is now moored in Leith, that we mentioned earlier on, as a, a, a historic tourist attraction. So our students can go along and get an insight into how, how the royal family used to travel around the world in the Royal Yacht Britannia. And a, a range of day trips to experience. This is Holyrood Palace, which is uh, the official royal residence in Edinburgh. Um, now the King's official residence. Um, and it's overlooked by Arthur's Seat, which is the eighth best day out in the UK. Arthur's Seat is an extinct volcano, which towers over the city of Edinburgh. Um, you can climb up through the path up to the top and get fantastic views of Edinburgh and beyond and it won't cost you a penny to do that. So lots of bus tours, lots of ghost tours um, to kind of get your, get your teeth into, as well as visits to the likes of the Botanic Gardens and the Scottish Parliament building, which is located in Edinburgh. 
So lots to kind of see and do in and around Edinburgh itself to enhance that student experience. As we mentioned earlier on, in terms of looking ahead for students wanting to base themselves in Scotland, Edinburgh is, according to comparethemarket.com, the best UK city in which to raise a family. And I guess one might come before the other in terms of it's also estimated to be the sixth most romantic city in the world. So students who find romance in Edinburgh and then wish to start a family have kind of uh, lots of options open to them uh, in, in Edinburgh as well. Um, Greg, do you want me to carry, just carry on for Glasgow and then I'll pass back to... Yeah, yeah. Cool. cool, cool. So Edinburgh is located on the, on the east side of Scotland. We move over to the west side and uh, Glasgow, which is Scotland's biggest city. So Edinburgh, as we mentioned, is the capital. Glasgow is uh, the larger of the two cities, population of around about 600,000. So again, by global city standards, not the, not the largest city, very manageable, very easy to find your way around. And again, just a short journey away from us here in Stirling, less than, less than 30 minutes by train from Stirling. And we'll give you some of the insights into some of the accolades that, that Glasgow has, has uh, earned. So Edinburgh, as you'll recall, is voted the, the number one best city in the world. Uh, by Time Out magazine, Glasgow is just a, a few places behind Edinburgh as number four uh, city in the world. So lots to kind of see and do for students in Glasgow as well. Top 25 student city, according to QS. And again, just some of the other um, accolades that, that the city has been given. Sixth best city in Europe and top 20 in the world for people in their 20s to live. 13th best city in the, for people in their 20s to live, according to money.co.uk, and the world top 20 city for millennials to live. So obviously, many of the students that you've been dealing with will fall into that category, and Glasgow offers a really attractive destination for them um, while they're here. And also, um, again, important to say, I think this applies to Scotland as a whole. We're a very friendly nation, but Glasgow holds the title of the world's friendliest city according to Rough Guides 2021 magazine. Um, we don't have time to cover now, but we'll maybe at a later tell, tell you the story of the man with the, the, the traffic cone on his head. Um, again, just other accolades, again, like Edinburgh, one of the, the most unique cities uh, in the world to visit, according to Atlas Obscura. Best city for a night out in the UK, according to TripAdvisor. So Glasgow, more than any other city in the UK, knows how to party and knows how to enjoy itself. And that's reflected in the fact that TripAdvisor have given it that accolade. Like Edinburgh, Glasgow has a huge array of restaurants, cafes and bars. Um, over 2,000 restaurants, cafes and bars, many of them owned and managed by expatriates from all around the world. So I defy anyone not to find cuisine from their home country in Glasgow. Um, and again, that's reflected by the fact that which magazine put Glasgow in the top five UK food destinations and muscle food 2022 survey put Glasgow as the third best city in the UK for food. And those students who like to engage in retail therapy um, will have no better place um, in the UK, uh, almost no better place in the UK to, to, to do that within the city of in, in the city of Glasgow. So second only to London in terms of the, the second busiest shopping street in the UK, that's at Buchanan Street. Um, and Glasgow is very much a city of music. We're one of um, a, a limited number of UNESCO cities of music um, and the second biggest music economy in the UK, ranging from one single guy or girl playing their guitar in the middle of that shopping street that we saw earlier on, right through to major stadium gigs uh, with the likes of Bruce Springsteen, Pink and Coldplay. Um, and again, just some of the other accolades, like Edinburgh with Leith, Glasgow has an area called Great Western Road, which is reckoned to be the third coolest street in the world. So uh, kind of a little bit out of the city centre, but a kind of quite a bohemian feel to it and up around by the university, a uh, really good place to be. Um, Glasgow is also home to the Europe's largest civic arts collection. And what this means is that many of the restaurants, or sorry, many of the restaurants, many of the museums and galleries are free of charge. There's no cost for, for entry. So students can go and enjoy the likes of the Kelvin Grove Museum, uh, which is a, a wonderful museum 
in Glasgow. Um, lots of quirky exhibits there, but it won't cost them a penny to do that. All it will cost if they're traveling through from Stirling is their train fare, um, and then they can enjoy two or three hours within Kelvin Grove and soaking up some of the fantastic culture that's available there. As I mentioned, Glasgow knows how to enjoy itself more than any other city that, that I know, and it's very much a city of leisure. And that ranges through from fantastic restaurants to cocktail bars, but also maybe some kind of uh, more quirky entertainment for, for students to enjoy. So you can go whitewater rafting, for example, just on the on, just outside of Glasgow, and you can indulge in crazy golf um, around a, 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 a golf course that's themed around the different Glasgow landmarks. And for those of you who are more adventurous, you can take a group of friends and go axe hurling um, at a designated axe hurling centre where you'll be briefed, you'll be given uh, instruction as to how to throw an axe, and then you chuck it, throw it at a target, and you see who, who's the most accurate with their axe. So again, just something to enjoy. Um, Glasgow, very much a city of festivals. We mentioned the Edinburgh International Arts Festival, the world's biggest arts festival in the world. Glasgow has something going on pretty much every week of the year, whether that's music festivals, um, comedy festivals, film festivals, you name it, food festivals, lots to kind of see and do in the city of Glasgow. And again, looking slightly further ahead to post-graduation in Glasgow, uh, according to CB Library 2019, is the best UK city for graduates. And Craig, I know, will come on and talk about some of the fantastic employment opportunities that are available within Scotland right here, right now. And that's reflected in the, in the, the accolade of best UK city for graduates. Fourth best UK city in which to raise a family. So you can see Scotland is coming through both in Edinburgh and in Glasgow as a, as a good place to kind of be based to raise a family. And also important to kind of point out that the, 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 the fantastic connectivity that Scotland has with the rest of the UK and also then beyond with the rest of the world. I think it's something that we sometimes have to overcome, the fact that people don't recognise how well connected we are. So there's um, 26 flights a day from Edinburgh to London alone, and the flight time of that is, is, is less than an hour. Um, average cost, depending on which airline you use and how far in advance you book, can be you know, 30 pounds to 40 pounds one way. So really accessible if students are wanting to kind of explore the rest of the UK. Similar picture from, from Glasgow as well. So um, both of these airports are just a short distance away from us here in Stirling, as we mentioned, Glasgow and Edinburgh are really close by. Similarly, one of the great things about our location is we're right in the heart of Scotland, and it means that we're right in the heart of the national rail network. So students wanting to go from Stirling to London can make that journey uh, on the train um, uh, from Stirling, or can travel into Edinburgh or Glasgow and do that train journey as well. And the train times, as you can see, are, are four and a half hours to, to five hours. And again, I'll maybe round off just with the, the, the tour of Scotland and then hand back to Craig. So um, we've talked about the major cities and, and, and major attractions that there are there, but it would be criminal almost for students to come to Scotland and not explore the fantastic scenery and landscape that we have. So we've just highlighted some of the other attractions away from the cities. Isle of Skye, um, up on the western coast of, of Scotland, is, according to Time Out magazine, the 19th best thing to do, 19th best place to visit. In the UK, fantastic scenery, as you can see, spectacular landscapes. And Scotland was recognised by Rough Guide magazines as the most beautiful country in the world. And you can see from these images that we'll flick through quickly why that is in terms of some of the spectacular landscapes. Ben Nevis, the UK's highest peak, reckoned to be the 13th best thing to do in the UK, according to Time Out magazine. And again, we encourage our students to explore Scotland in all its aspects, both the cities, but also in terms of out into the countryside, the north coast. 500 road trip up along the top part of Scotland, the northern coast. Um, number one UK road trip, according to Time Out. The top five road trip in the world, according to Finding the Universe, and top five coastal road trip. And don't be alarmed, this isn't a picture uh, that we have mistakenly put in of the Caribbean. This is actually, um, I think, on the Isle of Harris and some of the most spectacular beaches and coastline that you'll see anywhere in the world as well as probably our most famous um, resident in terms of the Loch Ness Monster. Students can go and visit uh, Inverness 
um, and a short distance away from Inverness is Loch Ness, where the monster has resided for long many a year. And those who like the rail travel can do the West Highland Rail Journey, second most scenic rail journey in Europe, fifth best, fifth best rail journey in Europe, according to Wanderlust, um, and really passing through some spectacular scenery where all you have to do is look out your train window and just look in, in awe at the scenery that's passing, uh, you're passing through. Again, just to highlight some of our other cities, Dundee is just a short, uh, probably about an hour and a half uh, train journey, and probably an hour from, from here in Stirling. Best city in Europe to visit according to, to Lonely Planet, one of um, uh, only a number of UNESCO cities of design. St Andrews, for those of you who are into your golf, is the home of golf, um, well worth a visit, um, also a university city as well, and home to where uh, Prince William met uh, Kate Middle and, and embarked on the Royal Romance. Um, Aberdeen, about two hours train journey away from us here. Um, again, New York Times, top 52 cities in the world. Happiest place in the UK, according to Shawbrook Bank. And the eighth best city in the UK for raising a family. Um, and also the home to, to the UK's kind of oil and, and um, energy uh, industry. Again, hopefully what we've covered in, in the slides about the location shows that there's no shortage of things to do here in Stirling and beyond. And we've listed this table just as an illustration of that. We've put 52 different ideas, one for every weekend of the year, um, in and around Stirling, Glasgow, Edinburgh and beyond as well. So your students can be guaranteed that they'll have plenty to entertain themselves plenty of social activity that we'll um, arrange, but also they can do independently um, and they'll never be bored. Um, just very quickly, before we move hand back to Craig, um, just to uh, bust some, some myths that sometimes exist, that Scotland's always really cold all the time. Um, this slide illustrates the fact that Scotland is on average only two degrees cooler than London across a year. And sometimes, and we rejoice when this happens, is sometimes even warmer than London as well. So don't believe the, the, hip, the hype that Scotland's always cold. Um, one of the things that, that sometimes students um, are concerned about is the accent here in Scotland. Um, and yes, we do have a, an accent. We have a number of accents as you travel around those different cities as well. But the important thing is to recognise that Scotland is now a very cosmopolitan country. So there'll be accents from not just all, all around Scotland, but all around the world. Um, and those Scottish accents that we mentioned, again, come in uh, very highly ranked in terms of being attractive, uh, the third most attractive accent in the world, according to Happen, the most attractive accent in the UK, um, according to Big Seven Travel, uh, the Glasgow accent is the third most attractive in the UK. So it'll take students maybe a little bit of time to uh, get tuned in, but once you're tuned in, you're absolutely fine. And again, just taking Craig's point earlier on about our, our student satisfaction, um, our University of Stirling students and into Stirling students are happy students, satisfied students, constantly in the top 30 for student satisfaction, according to the National Student Surveys. Um, and if we can blow our own trumpet a little bit higher than our colleagues in Manchester, Queens, Newcastle City and UEA for student experience. So your students will be happy here uh, and enjoy their time as well as benefit from it as well. And just harking back to, to Craig's previous point, 98% living satisfaction, and we can even exceed that with our overall student satisfaction within N2 starting for 100% overall student satisfaction, according to the most recent N2 surveys. And this kind of just gives a benchmark as to where we are uh, compared with some of our other colleagues within the N2 university or N2 Sterling network um, or N2 network um i'm losing the thread now so i'm going to pass back to, to craig to talk a little bit the, about the quality of the degrees that students will pursue with us here at Sterling. excellent thank you michael so we've seen uh what is on offer for students outside of the classroom let's have a little look at what is available for them inside the classroom and as part of their degree <clears throat> so when it comes to rankings Scotland actually ranks very, very well in comparison to the rest of the INTO network. So if you're looking for a top ranked degree in pretty much any subject, or if you're looking for really good teaching quality, really good experience and really good job prospects, 
Scotland and Stirling end up on the podium every single time for the subject areas that matter to the kind of students that we recruit here to Stirling. So when they come to Scotland, they're going to get a fantastically ranked degree and a very, very well recognised degree uh, that will be their key to almost any job around the world. And I think that's a really, really important thing to stress, particularly for those students who are emphasising that they want a quality education or they want something that is very, very highly ranked. And you can see on this table here, Scotland wins the medals most of the time. Same thing when it comes to quality of education, you can see here uh, the kind of league table um, of the kind of top sort of five um, universities for quality of education. Scotland occupies all of those spaces and it's very similar story when it comes to teaching satisfaction and satisfaction with the course. So Scotland's universities are the home of quality education and they are the best within the UK into network as well, which is one of the reasons why Stirling has a 98% learning satisfaction score and a 100% student support satisfaction score as well. When it comes to University of Stirling, we've got a mission statement here at Stirling and that is to transform the lives of our students and staff by giving them the opportunity to reach their full potential intellectually, emotionally, and making them resilient by giving them the skills they need for the modern world. And we'll talk a little bit about that um, in the coming slides. But first of all, let's focus on the campus when it comes to the quality of the degree and experience you'll get at Sterling. This is a picture of our campus here. You can see it's a very kind of American style campus. Everything you need is on the campus and a short walk from where you need to be. So your accommodation is a five, 10 minute walk from your lecture theatres, you're a five or 10 minute walk from the student union and a five or 10 minute walk from the sports centre as well. We have a student nightclub on campus and we have a student pub and a student coffee bar, which plays host to a range of different nights out and afternoons, including pub quizzes, open mic nights, poetry nights, and also broadcasting live sport as well. We've got an on-campus cinema, which kind of shows all of the latest releases, as well as an on-campus theatre with lots of different shows for students to see. We also have an on-campus gym, an on-campus swimming pool, which has been the training base and a home for a range of medal-winning athletes in the Olympics and the Commonwealth Games as well. So we have a very, very successful track record when it comes to global sporting events. We also have a range of different clubs and societies. So you can join a sports club and you can join maybe something a little bit more recreational as well if sport is not your thing. So on the campus, there is something for everyone. Uh, Sterling is actually ranked number one in the UK and fifth in the world for its campus environment, partly because of its scenery, but also partly because of the facilities and the kind of general vibe around the campus as well. We've improved upon that in recent years with £41 million worth of campus redevelopment as well. So students are coming to a top quality campus when they come to study at Stirling and all of the INTO students have access to everything on the campus. They are treated just like they are part of the degree studying student community. So let's have a look at the quality of education in terms of employability and how um, the Scottish universities, including Stirling, prepare you for the global jobs of the future. So Stirling and a lot of Scottish universities have degrees and modules which are tailored towards growing job trends. And here are a few of them here. So we have mobile apps, which are a huge industry at the moment. Uh, there are nearly 3 billion smartphone users in the world, nearly one and a half billion tablet users. And everybody's using apps these days because everything goes digital. This is leading to jobs growth. So Apple in the UK have seen their app development jobs grow by 10% in 2021. And global digital advertising is gonna increase uh, to 753 billion pounds by 2026 with in-app revenue accounting for over half of that. So how do you get involved in this kind of growing trend? Well, you've got degrees at Sterling such as computing science, but also business studies um, as well that you can study and they'll have modules around things like delivering value in the digital age and digital and experiential marketing. You've also got uh, courses such as computing science at University of Strathclyde that our students can progress to, as well as um, computer game application development, which is a specific course at Abertay University in Dundee. 
data science is also becoming a huge sector as well. Uh, Britain is facing an explosive demand for data scientists. And in fact, demand for data scientists has tripled over the last five years, but 65% of employers have found a lack of technical skills in their data science um, applicants. So if you study a degree in data science at Stirling or one of our partner universities, such as Edinburgh Napier or Strathclyde, you put yourself in a really good position to capitalize on this growing jobs trend. Likewise, in life sciences, graduate jobs uh, in health and pharmaceuticals have grown by nearly 25% since 2019, and biotechnology jobs have grown by a third since 2021. Uh, the UK life sciences sector is on the cusp of a golden age, so there has never been a better time to study something like uh, applied biological sciences at Stirling or something in pharmacology or biomedical sciences at the likes of Strathclyde, Dundee, Edinburgh Napier or University of Aberdeen. Cybersecurity, as everything goes digital, is becoming a huge sector as well. Employers say that 37% of vacancies in the cyber sector are hard to fill because candidates lack technical knowledge. And UK firms have experienced a 62% increase in cyber threats since 2020. 61% of business managers are worried about their business's ability to protect data. And 77% of businesses are saying that cybersecurity is a high priority. So cybersecurity experts and graduates are going to be in big demand in the UK moving forward. And again, this is where our modules and our computing science degrees can really help you. So we have computing science, which is available at Sterling and at Strathclyde, and both of those have cybersecurity modules. And we have cybersecurity degrees at the likes of Edinburgh Napier and Avate as well. Business and workplaces are changing. So COVID has changed the workplace forever with 72% of workers wanting a hybrid office model, uh, but 82% of managers being worried about productivity. So relationships between employers and employees are going to change over the next few years. And this is where our business study degree and our HR management degrees can really be useful. Uh, we've got modules on contemporary employment relations. Uh, we've got modules on the funda fundamentals of management. We've got modules on managing change and also business and leadership modules as well. So if you studied these modules and you can offer firms and employers these skills, you are going to be in very, very high demand as the workplace changes. Consumer habits within retail are changing as well. So 36% of UK shoppers believe that the way they buy things has changed forever post-COVID. Um, th there are changes in how loyal people are to brands, but also differences with what consumers want. 88% of consumers want to engage with brands that put a premium on corporate social responsibility. And 77% of consumers are motivated to buy from companies that are committed to making the world a better place. So modules at Sterling, such as responsible business, understanding consumers, behavioral economics, these are the modules that are going to make our graduates really appealing to sales companies and businesses that deal with consumers. And likewise, there's growth industry in the likes of esports and growth industry in the likes of sports as well. And again, we've got modules that can meet those kinds of demands. So let's have a look at the quality of Scottish job prospects as well. So we're very proud at the moment because unemployment in Scotland is at a record low. We also have a wide range of companies that can sponsor international workers for visas. Uh, so according to the UK Home Office, when you club together all of the cities that are within a commutable distance of Stirling, Central Scotland comes out as the best place outside of London in the UK for visa sponsors and companies that can take on international workers. Now, this is not the promise of a job or a visa or anything like that, but it is to show that Scotland has a vibrant jobs market, which is open to the international community. Stirling itself offers an attractive option for commuters because of the distances that we've discussed earlier to the likes of Edinburgh, Glasgow and Dundee. Scotland is outpacing the UK and the rest of Europe for inward foreign investment. And this is generating even more jobs in the likes of digital technology, agri-food and business services. Glasgow, Edinburgh and Aberdeen are all in the UK top 10 cities for inward foreign investment. So these industries are growing within these cities and we are seeing jobs growth to go alongside it. More overseas businesses choose Scotland than any non-London location in the UK. So again, that's gonna be bringing in more jobs and all of this is paying off because the Scottish economy is now bigger 
than it was pre-COVID. And we are predicting record employment in the likes of Edinburgh and Glasgow across 2022. And already we are seeing way above average numbers of job postings uh, across Scotland. So the number of jobs postings in Scotland was 82% higher than it was pre-pandemic levels. And Scotland has seen a higher percentage increase in job postings over the last year than the rest of the UK. So let's have a look at some of Scotland's sectors. We've got digital technology, which is due to be Scotland's biggest growing sector by 2024. We've seen a 25% increase in digital jobs here in Scotland across 2021. And Glasgow and Edinburgh are now the UK's number two and number three tech hubs, number one obviously being London. Uh, we've already had 7,500 uh, planned real living wage digital jobs that have been created across 2021-2022, so that inward foreign investment is paying off. Edinburgh is a top five city in the UK for attracting digital investment, and again, this is going to generate uh, jobs. We've seen a new AI strategy created with the Scottish government, and we're already seeing big companies like JP Morgan and Barclays investing in cities like Glasgow and generating jobs. We've got a financial technology roadmap in Scotland to create 20,000 new financial technology jobs by 2031. And there is a big skill shortage reported in financial technology at the moment. So that means if uh, students are interested in a job in technology, financial technology in Scotland is going to be one of the biggest growth areas. And it is a great chance to capitalise on that trend because there are lots of jobs, but not enough workers to fill them. Uh, within technology, the video games sector in Scotland is increasing as well. Uh, our computer games industry grew by 26% between April 2020 and December 2021. So if students want to get involved in computer games, Scotland again is the place to be. So as we kind of saw earlier, lots of degrees here in Scotland that can get you where you want to be. Uh, you've got the likes of um, Stirling that can offer computing science degrees. But you've also got lots of universities around Scotland that can offer lots of different types of technology degrees as well. Business is another area which is growing. Uh, our business sector here in Scotland employs uh, nearly a quarter of a million people. Our business exports in Scotland are growing and finance is booming as well, with one in 10 people were in Edinburgh working in finance and one in 13 in Glasgow working in finance as well. And Edinburgh's finance sector is one of the most competitive anywhere in the world. Edinburgh and Glasgow also rank in the top 10 towns and cities for finance and salaries within, fin uh, within finance. And Edinburgh is also seen as a great place to do business, according to Management Today, Barclays and NerdWallet. Glasgow is also a great place to do business with the Office of National Statistics saying it's one of the best UK cities for small businesses. And in fact, our small businesses have grown by nearly 50 percent within the last five or six years. Edinburgh is also one of the top cities in the UK for professional services salaries as well. And our creative industries are booming also. Uh, we've also spoken about the um, increase in video games, but this also includes things like film and television uh, and things like that as well. So when it comes to your business career, Stirling and Scottish, Scottish universities can offer you uh, some very, very good options in terms of our business courses. And likewise, at the likes of QMU, GCU, Edinburgh Napier, Strathclyde and Abertay, there are lots of very specialist businesses, courses that you can study uh, as well. So Michael spoke to you a little bit about the lifestyle in some of the cities in Scotland. So let's look at the job prospects. Um, Stirling is a great place to be because we are receiving lots of government investment at the moment. Nearly £650 million of investment to create 5,000 new jobs. Edinburgh, as we saw, is going to be a great city. It's the UK's fifth best city for graduates. It's one of the most productive cities in the UK, which makes it attractive to employers to come and invest and create jobs. And Edinburgh has the lowest unemployment of any major UK city, as well as the highest hourly wage as well. So those students that graduate at Stirling can get that job in Edinburgh and they can be really, really uh, well off financially. And Edinburgh is also Europe's number two mid-sized city of the future because of its growth. Edinburgh is the um, economy in the UK that has been least impacted by COVID. And as Michael alluded to earlier, it is a great place for young people such as graduates to live. And it is the happiest place to work in the UK. Glasgow, which again is nearby, 
has a city strategy to create 50,000 new jobs by 2023. So there's going to be lots of jobs coming up for the Stirling graduates and graduates across Scotland to take in Glasgow. It's the fastest growing major UK economy in um, in 20s in the last sort of five or six years. And Glasgow is also the UK's best city for graduates with the highest graduate salary, according to CV Library. It's in the top 10 most affordable cities for graduates, according to Prospects, and it is Europe's number one large city of the future. So lots of investment, lots of job opportunities. It really is going to be a great place for graduates to be. So let's have a look at some of the employability services at Stirling that can help connect the dots between that great degree and those job opportunities here in Scotland. Stirling is ranked as a QS five star university for employability, which puts us as one of the best universities in the world for employability. That was also reflected in the ISB in 2018, which puts Stirling as number 15 in the world for employability services. A range of free services, including one to one advice and guidance on careers, uh, job application advice, interview advice, LinkedIn skills, as well as a jobs board, which provides employment opportunities for all students. Students will have access to over 300 pages of careers related content when they are at Sterling, and this is going to give them advice and guidance on their future job prospects. So it's a great thing to have access to. And there are lots of free courses as they go through their degrees, including the Flying Start Leadership Programme and Postgraduate Plus, which give them the soft skills that all employers are looking for. We also have subject specific teams, which means that if a student wants a job in a particular sector, they book an appointment with one of these ladies here and they can give students some really good focused advice and guidance when it comes to jobs. Students also have access to the platform called Going Global, which is like an international jobs board, giving them advice and guidance on finding jobs in different countries, advice on work permits, visas and cultural differences as well. And we also have lots of free events run by our careers team, which give students some great insights into particular industries and also some very niche subject areas as well. We have our careers fair on campus and we have opportunities for students to go out to companies and do consultancy projects, such as these students here who went to a Windows company to help them market a new range of environmentally friendly windows. The agency, the uh, company actually used that advice and guidance to help use and sell those windows. So those students can go into a job interview in the future and actually say that they've had an impact on a real life company. Similarly, we've got the same sort of thing within IT where some of our students went to a company to give them advice and guidance on how to promote one of their cybersecurity programs. And this is one of the reasons why we've got such high graduate outcomes with Sterling graduates, 91% uh, of international Sterling graduates being in high skilled or medium skilled jobs, uh, which is fantastic to see. And a number of them actually saying that their current activity that they are doing is relevant to the degree that they studied when they were at university. So that is employability within a nutshell. Um, just to recap, we are one of the lowest cost study plans in the UK. We have access to three of the UK's best cities. We have amazing local job prospects here, but also a fantastic degree and study experience, which will help you get those jobs that you want in the future and take advantage of the growing job trends here in Scotland. And all of that added together equals one incredible opportunity that is unrivaled anywhere else in the UK. So we hope that you enjoyed that presentation. We hope that you got a lot from it. We know that there's a lot of information that we've thrown out at everybody, but the volume of information just goes to show what a fantastic prospect into Stirling and Scotland are. And hopefully that is the one thing that will come across from this presentation. We would also encourage everybody to follow our Instagram page, uh, we post a lot of information about what's happening here in Scotland and at Stirling as well. And it's a really easy way for you to keep in touch with everything that's been happening here. So that is our presentation. I'd like to thank you all for coming along and thank you for your time. If there is a, if there are any questions, I'm happy to answer them here. Um, but equally, we will send this recording out to everybody and you can watch it again if you like. But thank you for your time. Um, and hopefully we'll see some of your students coming through to Stirling very, very soon. Thank you.
Okay. 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 Okay.